Hey guys, it's Cameron. Welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you're new. Today we're going to be making a pumpkin slash ghost car hanging. And I also wanted to preface this video by saying it doesn't just have to go on your car. You can use it as a back charm or uh, as like a wall hanging. You can use it as a lot of things. It doesn't just have to be for a car. So if you don't have a car, like don't be... Don't be like, oh crap, like I don't know what to do. Like, no, you can use it as a lot of different things. I just chose to use it as I need to slow down when I talk. I just chose to use it as a car hanging because um, I just wanted some cute decor for my car and I thought it was the perfect idea. So yeah, um, I thought it would be the perfect time to make this video because it is spooky season. It's September. That's certified spooky season. That's when it starts, okay, duh. And I don't know. Oh, I should have turned my lights on to like create an ambiance 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 this video is gonna be quick gonna be easy because this is a very easy beginner friendly type of project so yeah let's get into the video without further ado let me stop talking let's get into the video what okay so starting off with materials first yarn i'm using acrylic yarn and we're gonna be using white for the ghost brown for the hanging part green for the pumpkin and also green for the pumpkin and then you'll need some fiber fill for the ghost and the pumpkin, as well as safety eyes for our ghost and safety eye backings. And then I'm using my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. I recommend using a small hook within the three to four millimeter range. So then your work is real tight. And then optionally, I like doing this because it makes the work look a lot cleaner and lighter. You'll also need scissors and a darning needle. Optionally, you can use a stitch marker, but I'm not gonna use one, so you don't have to use one either, but if you like to use stitch markers, you can go ahead and use it for the ghost. But yeah, let's get started. We're gonna start off with our brown yarn and we're gonna make the string that hangs the pumpkin and the ghost. And for this, I chain 80. You can chain less or more depending on how long you want it to be, but I do a pretty long chain because you can always, um, adjust it whenever it's already made. So starting off with a slip knot and you're gonna to wanna to start with about six inches of your tail left over. And to do a slip knot, all you do is wrap it around your two fingers like so. Go under, go over, and then make your slip knot. Oops, I messed up. So wrap it around your fingers, go under, go over, and pull tight for a slip knot. And again, just leaving that long tail so we can connect our pumpkin to it. And I'm going to chain 80. To chain, all you have to do is wrap around your hook, pull up a loop, and that's one. And you're going to do this 79 more times. Once you finish your 80 chains, you're going to cut your yarn and leaving a long tail just like we did at the bottom. And this is the side where we're going to connect our ghost. So just about six inches like we did at the bottom. And then you just go ahead and pull it through, tighten it, and this is the start of our hanging. So now we're gonna move on to our pumpkin. For our pumpkin, we're gonna be using orange and you're gonna to wanna to start by chaining 12. And you're also gonna to wanna to leave a long tail just like we did with our brown. So about six inches on the leave. Then we're gonna slip knot and chain 12. Once you chain 12, you're going to skip your first, here let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. You're going to skip your first chain and go into your second chain with a single crochet. So a single crochet is essentially go into the loop, pull up a loop, and then pull through two. We're going to do that one more time into the next stitch. And then we're going to do seven half double crochets. So into each of the next seven stitches, you'll do one half double crochet. A half double crochet is wrap around. Into the next stitch, we're gonna go into that stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three of those loops. And we're gonna do that six more times.
So now you should be left with two stitches and into those two stitches we're going to work a single crochet. So here's one single crochet. And then the next stitch we're going to work another single crochet. So that was row one. We're going to be repeating this entire thing for 20 rows total, but we're going to be working in the back loops. So I'll show you guys for one more row. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then we're going to do a single crochet into both loops for the first one. We're going to do a single crochet into both loops. And then the next stitch, we're going to work a single crochet, but only in the back loop. So instead of going under both V's, you're going to go into this back V with a single crochet. And then we're gonna work our seven half double crochets into the back V's only. So here's one, two, and then you're gonna go all the way to seven. You should be left with two stitches in our round and then we're gonna work a single crochet into the last two stitches. But in the last single crochet, we're gonna work into both loops. So in the first and last single crochets, we're gonna work into both loops just so that the ends are a little more sturdy. And you're gonna continue this for 20 total rows. So that was two. We're going to do 17, no, 18 more. We're gonna do 18 more. So remember it's one single crochet into both loops, another single crochet into the back loops, then seven half double crochets into the back loops, one single crochet into the back loops, and then the last single crochet into both loops. Chain one, turn your work, repeat for 20 total rows. So I'll be back whenever I finish that. So I did uh, give or take 20 rows out of it. I lost track of count. But if your starting tail is on the other side and you think you did 20 rows, then you should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And I went ahead and cut a long tail. And we're going to pull it through and pull it nice and tight. And we're going to, you're going to pull a pretty long tail because we're going to be using it to scrunch our pumpkin up. So now we're going to get our darning needle. You can use your hook if you don't have a darning needle. I'm going to put your long tail through it. And we're going to start weaving in our pumpkin, like scrunching it like this. So to do that, you're just going to go in and out of the rows. So into our first, so this to these top rows, you're going to go into the one right next to our tail. And then you're going to go into the next gap right here. So it's in between these ribbed stitches. And you're going to be going in and out of them. So the next one would be here. Then the next one would be here. And so on and so forth. Okay, so I did all my stitches. Now I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can. And you see how it just scrunches it? Then you're going to connect our your last stitch, your two last stitches on these two, if that makes sense. So basically go into the first chain and then our last stitch, pull it through. And pull it tight and if you if you still find that there's like a hole right here what you can do is you could just sew it together just go into random stitches I'm not the best at explaining so I just kind of show y'all visually but just pull that tight and that should close your hole up now we're gonna work on sewing together our pumpkins sides whatever it's called so it doesn't have to be perfect like you don't have to count the 12th and 12th stitch because i don't i just kind of line it up and then guess where my stitches are and the way i do it is i go into the front v so into this v and then just into the into our starting chain sorry this part's a little bit confusing but it's kind of hard to explain but yeah just go into a front v and then into a chain and just sew them together
just like that. So now we have a little circular shape and we're gonna go ahead and stuff our pumpkin. So just take some stuffing and just put, stuff it on in there. Don't be shy. And you can already see the pumpkin framing. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Ooh, there's a hair. Okay, so once you've stuffed your pumpkin, we're gonna do the same thing we did um, at the bottom where we scrunched our rows. So just looping in and out of our rib stitches. And be careful not to catch the um, stuffing in them. But yeah, I'm just looping in and out of the middle stitches. Okay, so I've, ripped, I've finished that, so now I'm just going to squeeze it tight to shut it. And then you're going to go ahead and get your darning needle, reconnect it. And then we're going to tie a knot. So to do this, you just you can just go into two stitches. I'm using like just two random stitches to close the pumpkin, like this. And pull your darning needle through, but not all the way through. And you should have a loop right here. Into this loop, you're going to go... You're going to put your darning needle in it once and in it again, and then just pull that tight. And then you can go ahead and take your darning needle, push it right through the middle of your pumpkin, and it should come out the other side. Pull that nice and tight. And here's what we have. So now we're going to take our green yarn and we're going to work on the stem. And this is also going to scrunch our pumpkin, so then we get that pumpkinular shape. With our green, we're gonna go ahead and leave a long tail and chain three. Then you're gonna work, you're gonna skip the first chain and work a single crochet into the next, and then a single crochet into the last one. Like so, then you're gonna chain one and cut off a long tail. Then you're gonna pull your loop and this is what you should have. Now we're gonna come back to our pumpkin and you can choose which one you want to be the top and which way you want to be the bottom of the pumpkin. I'm going to do this side as the top. Get your darning needle, go ahead and loop it through. Any one of the two strings, you can loop through whatever one. And then you're gonna go right through the middle of the top of your pumpkin and make sure you come uh, like back around to the back of the pumpkin right in the middle of the back. Pull your loop through. And then you're going to take your second string, connect your darning needle to it. And then you're kind of going to go right next to it. So not in the same one you put your other string in, but like next to it. Do the same thing, come around to the back, pull it through. And then to create our pumpkin's shape, we're going to tie them in a double knot. So once you tie it, you just pull it nice and tight. And as you can see, it kind of creates that cylindery pumpkin shape. And I'm just gonna double knot it. Triple knot it. Knot it as many times as you want. And it should look something like this. I just realized that I didn't pull through the middle. I pulled kind of to the side, so my pumpkin is a little bit lopsided. But if you did pull through the middle, then you should be fine. So now we're gonna take our brown string and we're gonna go ahead and get our darning needle and put it through. And I just took one side, doesn't matter which side. I'm gonna go through the top right next to where we put our green and I'm gonna come down to the bottom and pull it all the way through. Not all the way through, but just like a little bit through. And it's where you can see your chain. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my strings, doesn't really matter which one, I'm gonna take the green one, tie that in a knot. And I'm gonna make sure I don't tie the chain just as close as I can to the chain, as you can see. So I'm gonna take that, tie it in a knot, a couple of knots, just to make sure it's nice and tight. And then you can go ahead and pull on that brown, make sure it's secure. And then 
we're going to go ahead and loop all of these away. So to do that, just take your darning needle, take whatever string you want, and then just loop it from where it came from. So this orange one came from here, so I'm going to go through there, and then I'm going to just stick out through a random hole, pull it, then I'm going to pull on it a little bit, cut it, and then yeah, I'm going to do that to all my strings. So I'll show you guys one more time. So take a string, take your darning needle, loop it through, go into where it came from, pull out into a random stitch, pull a little bit tight, cut, and yeah. So I'm going to do that to the rest of my strings, and I'll be back. Guys, don't be mad at me. I am so, 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 so sorry. I don't know what happened. I recorded the second half of this video with the ghost, and I gave a whole explanation and everything, and it's nowhere to be found. It's not on my SD card. It's not on my laptop. It's not on my phone. It's not on my camera. I don't know where it went, and I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to explain it. I'm so sorry. Y'all did not sign up for this. I'm really sorry. But basically, I've linked the video down below of how to make the crochet ghost. Click on that video, and you're going to make it the exact same way she made it, except you're not going to add the arms. I mean, you can, but I didn't. And then, oh, I have Hayless curls in. Did I say pardon me? Ignore that. But anyways, you're going to do that, and then you're going to take either your starting chain or your ending chain from your ghost, and you're going to use that, like how we did with the pumpkin, you're going to take the brown long string, loop it through the head of the head of the ghost all the way to the bottom of the ghost. And then at the bottom, you're going to tie a knot with the leftover white yarn, just how we did with the pumpkin. If you have any questions, please comment them because I will answer every single one. This is little. I don't know what happened to the clip and I'm so, so, so sorry. I don't know what happened. But yeah, I hope I explained that well. Click the video down below, make the ghost the exact same. And now you're going to loop your brown long string from the head all the way down to the bottom of the body, tied in a knot, just like how we did with the pumpkin, and then sew in your loose ends, just like how we did with the pumpkin. And then after that, you're going to, I'll see if I can find a YouTube video. Okay, I couldn't find any uh, videos explaining it, so I'm just going to show you all with a random crochet project. So say this is your little pumpkin hanging, you're going to take a lighter, and then you're basically just going to kind of go over the project pretty fast so you don't leave any burn marks just to get rid of all the frayed ends and this will make your project look so much better so basically just go over it with fire not quite touching it just going over it and then it'll make your project look a lot cleaner and a lot sharper and you can also i think you can use a blow dryer on high heat if you don't want to use a lighter but if you did make your project with cotton yarn don't do that because your project is going to clash on fire but if you did use acrylic yarn do that i'm sorry this video was a mess <laughs> But yeah, again, I'm so, so, so sorry that the clip disappeared. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys like, sorry, my neighbor's outside and I feel like she's looking at me. <laughs> I'll show you guys like the finished result. This is what it'll look like when you're done. And again, I'm really sorry. Comment any questions you guys have and I'll answer all of them. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that everything was up to par and you guys understood everything and y'all have the cutest little ghosting post pump. Y'all have the cutest little car hanging. Um, comment down below what you guys thought of this video, like, was it confusing was it easy just give me feedback so then i can i actually read y'all so i read all the comments and i use you guys well not all the comments but i read most of the comments and um i use you guys comments as feedback and i take them into my next video to make my videos better and it actually works so i really appreciate you guys for that but yeah comment down below what you want to see from me next comment down below what you liked about this video or what you didn't like about this video and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed and share it with your friends. Happy spooky season. I'll see you guys soon. Love you.